This is the place where Camford's story begins, the village of Mola in Zimbabwe. I went there to do a study into the reasons why girls were not at school. This was the place where the Tonga people were shifted when the Kariba Dam was built in 1956. And I was expecting to find resistance to the idea of girls' education from parents because everything I had read told me that that was the reality behind girls excluded from education. But what I found was poverty, deep poverty, and a rational decision-making, which meant that boys who had the best chance of paid work were favored. So it, it wasn't the, the poverty of the culture of the families. It was rather the pernicious culture of poverty, and it was all around me. I could see it in the thin frames of young mothers. I could see it in the distended bellies of the children. And so we began with 32 girls. And in the intervening years, we have grown into five countries to support 1,260,000 girls. And over that period, not one single family has turned down the offer of support for their girls. Not one. Not Christians, not Muslims. How have we done it? Well, we put girls at the center. They are our primary clients. And we recognize that around her, there is poverty, but there are other forms of capital. We dignify and extend those forms of capital. So parents and families are not reminded of what they do not have, but they are reminded what they can bring to the table. The social capital in the family, the care and the love of families, their encouragement to girls, their preparedness to make sure that they have time to study at home. The institutional capital of the communities, 5,065 partner schools that we work with, the churches, the mosques, the chieftaincies. Chiefs are among the strongest advocates. We work with them to support the education of girls and also to speak out against child marriage. Knowledge capital. You know, I saw a sign in, on a headmaster's wall in Zimbabwe and it said, somewhere in the world, there is a committee discussing your life and you are not invited. Now, in every community, we have a committee, a broad-based committee that comes to the table to design and implement with us. One of the greatest achievements, I think, of Camford is the emergence of CAM, an alumni of extraordinary young, educated women who are now driving change. CAMA members are lawyers, doctors, teachers, and they are set to grow to 190,000 over the next five years. They understand poverty because they've lived it, and they have escaped from it through education. And they're philanthropists. They're bringing new financial capital to the table, and they have supported themselves from their own incomes, 63,274 children in 2013 alone, change makers from within. Here's one of the camera members, Ruka. Ruka decided that what her community needed was high quality protein available in her community of northern Ghana. And so she established a chicken farm which has grown substantially. Last year, she won the Mandela Washington Scholarship and was awarded by President Obama. And here, Dr. Renyararo Machingaidzi. She is our first doctor, one of the first 32 and here she is uh, working uh, with patients. And she is changing her hospital from within. She says to nurses, perhaps, who are unkind, don't speak to that woman that way. She could be my mother. Abigail. Abigail, orphaned very young, brought up by her very poor grandmother. Now she is one of the 15 youth advisors to the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on education and Angeline Mukundiri. Angeline, whom I've known since she was a small child, now married, Angeline Murumirwa, she is here speaking at Brookings. She is our director of Southern and East Africa. And here she was speaking alongside Michelle Obama. Extraordinary young women, all of whom from a background of deep rural poverty. We cannot afford to neglect the potential of girls and young women. Every problem that we face 
can be solved through the education of girls. Child mortality, maternal mortality, food insecurity, child marriage. There is no problem that is easier to solve than through girls' education. So join us, because when you educate a girl, everything changes. Thank you. <laughs>